Okay, so now we're going to talk about the administration of this class. Uh, I want to tell you what you expect to, uh, you should expect to see in this class and how we're going to interact. So the course has four major parts. The first part uh, covers the basic linguistic, mathematical, and computational background for the material. The second part covers computational models of uh, morphology, syntax, semantics, discourse, and pragmatics, which are the main uh, components of linguistics. The third part will include some core natural language processing technology, for example, for things like parsing, part of speech tagging, text generation, and others. And finally, we're going to cover some applications such as text classification, machine translation, information extraction, and some others. There are three major goals in this class. One is to learn the basic principles and the theoretical issues underlying natural language processing. Two is to learn the techniques and the tools that are used to develop practical, robust systems that can understand text and communicate with users in one or more languages. And finally, to gain insight into some open research problems in natural language. Uh, there are three books available that cover this kind of material in different levels of detail. The first one is Speech and Language Processing by Daniel Jurafsky and James Martin. The second one is Foundations of Statistical Natural Language Processing by Chris Manning and Henrik Schütze. And the third one is Natural Language Understanding by James Allen. There are courses at other places that cover similar material. I would list a few here that I have liked personally, and one of the criteria for including them here is that they have slides available and other reading materials online, so you can always go back to those websites and learn more about this material from them. I would personally recommend the courses at Johns Hopkins University taught by Jason Eisner, Cornell University taught by Lillian Lee, Stanford University by Chris Manning, the University of Maryland by Hal Domey, uh, University of California Berkeley by Dan Klein, and University of Texas Austin by Ray Mooney. And there are also two courses on Coursera in the past. Uh, one was by Manning and Jurafsky in 2012, and one was by Michael Collins in 2013. The first one was a survey, and the second one was more advanced. Now, the main association for research in this field is called uh, the Association for Computational Linguistics, or ACL. Now, uh, there is a difference uh, between computational linguistics and natural language processing, but it's usually considered a relatively minor difference. So I want to explain what some of the acronyms that we'll see in this course mean. The first one is natural language processing. As I said before, this is the study of the computational uh, treatment of human language. Computational linguistics uh, comes from a slightly different perspective. It comes from uh, linguistics and it has uh, traditionally included more mathematical and formal uh, approaches and less uh, applied and practical aspects. But in the recent years, uh, those two fields have become more or less interchangeable. There are other acronyms that you will uh, hear often. Information retrieval is the study of uh, finding information in documents. Uh, whether they're in text or spoken form or videos. Uh, speech processing deals with the understanding and generation of uh, spoken signals. Uh, human language technology is used uh, for the applied component of natural language processing. Natural language engineering is mostly synonymous with human language technology. And finally, one uh, acronym that you will see often in this class and other related classes is ML, which stands for machine learning, which is the computational and statistical study of learning. Uh, there is a lot of research in natural language processing. I would like to point to the major conferences in this field. Uh, uh, ACL is the annual conference of the Association for Computational Linguistics. It alternates uh, with the North American, European, and Asian conferences in computational linguistics. There is also the conference uh, called EMNLP, which stands for uh, Empirical Methods in Natural Language Processing. It is also one of the top tier conferences. It focuses more on statistical and empirical techniques. SIGIR is the ACM conference on information retrieval. AAAI and HKI are the main international conferences in artificial intelligence. Calling is a biannual uh, conference in natural language processing. HLT uh, is uh, a human language technologies conference. AMTA or the MT Summit are conferences in machine translation. And finally, ICSLP and Eurospeech are the conferences on speech processing. 
There are many journals in NLP. The most important ones are listed here. You should probably start by looking at the Computational Linguistics Journal and TACL, Transactions of the ACL, both of which are published by the Association of Computational Linguistics. But I would also recommend the journals Natural Language Engineering, Information Retrieval, Information Processing and Management, as well as multiple ACM transactions, specifically the ACM transactions on information systems, the ACM transactions on Asian language information processing, and the ACM transactions on spoken language processing. There are many university centers that deal with research in NLP. I'm going to list just a few uh, based on uh, recent papers in ACL. They're not in any particular order, uh, but if you're interested in uh, finding out what the state of the art in NLP is, those are the places where you should go. Uh, I would like to list Berkeley, Columbia, Stanford, Carnegie Mellon, Johns Hopkins, Brown, the University of Massachusetts at Amherst, MIT, uh, the University of Pennsylvania, USC, which is the University of Southern California, and specifically their Information Sciences Institute, the Universities of Illinois, Michigan, Washington, Maryland, and many others. Outside of the United States, uh, some of the most commonly uh, seen names on papers are the University of Toronto in Canada, Edinburgh in Scotland, Cambridge and Sheffield in England, Saarland in Germany, Trento in Italy, Prague in the Czech Republic, the Qatar Computing Research Institute in Qatar, the National University of Singapore, and many others. There are many universities, but there are also quite a few industrial research sites. I will mention a few that have the largest number of papers around. Those are Google, Microsoft Research, Yahoo, IBM, SRI, BBN, MITRE, and AT&T Labs. The best place where you can go to find papers in NLP is the ACL Anthology. It is available through the ACL website. It was created uh, more than 10 years ago by Stephen Bird, and nowadays it's managed by Min Yan Khan from the National University of Singapore. It has more than 20,000 research papers in all the subfields of computational linguistics and NLP. And finally, there's an experimental website called the ACL Anthology Network developed at the University of Michigan, which includes the data from the ACL Anthology as far as citations and citing sentences are concerned. You can find, for example, which papers have been cited the most and what text has been used to cite them. So if you want to find out uh, what was published this year in computational linguistics, those are the two places where you would want to go. So in the next segment, I'm going to talk about uh, some of the specific challenges that make natural language processing hard. 